Hello, I'm Jill Wilson, the President and CEO of Otterbein Senior Life. Let me first say thank you for all you do to support Otterbein Senior Life. I have been with Otterbein for over 26 years now, and I have had the absolute privilege to serve as CEO for almost 15 years. All of this time, I've never before had the opportunity to introduce a new mission statement. Well, I have that opportunity today. The Otterbein mission for the entire time I've been a part of Otterbein has been in keeping with our United Methodist tradition, we seek to enhance the quality of life and holistic growth of older persons. I bet I've used that statement thousands of times. And on nearly every occasion, I've taken the opportunity to explain each word and the connection and what it means and who we are as Otterbein Senior Life. That mission statement is in my heart and it has served us well and will always be a part of who we are. As partners in caring, as residents, elders, as board members and volunteers, family and local communities that support us. I'm going to turn the program over to others in a minute to describe for you the extensive process that led us to this moment of announcing and introducing the new Otterbein mission statement. Are you ready? Here it is. Inspired by faith, we strive to enrich individual life journeys for all. Let me say that again. Inspired by faith, we strive to enrich individual life journeys for all. Otterbein is mission driven and inspired by faith. We will strive to constantly do better we will work to enrich the lives of those we serve. We will recognize everyone is on their own unique life journey. And we will reach out and engage all residents, elders, partners, their respective families, volunteers, and board members. Thank you all for listening to my message. I think we can all agree this is a most momentous occasion. And now I'd like to turn it over to the home office marketing team to pose and hopefully answer several of the questions that have come up or will surely come up as we transition to our new updated mission. Inspired by faith, we strive to enrich individual life journeys for all. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. And hello, everyone. My name is Gary Morning. I'm joined today by Kathleen Gears and Shiny Russell. Together, the three of us make up a large part of our home office marketing team. Uh, you heard Jill talk about our new mission statement and the introduction of it and some of the words that had to do with it. But we've identified on some of these cards key questions that you may have identified during uh, Jill's presentation. So let's get started. Here's the first question. Kathleen, it's yours. Jill mentioned that this is the first time in her tenure that she has had the opportunity to introduce a new mission statement. When was the previous statement adopted? Believe it or not, the previous mission statement was approved by the Otterbein Board of Directors in 1995, 28 years ago. When approved, Otterbein Homes, as it was then known, was comprised of four continuing care retirement communities. Otterbein Lebanon, which was founded in 1912, Otterbein Portage Valley, which affiliated in 1986, Otterbein St. Mary's, which opened in 1987, and Otterbein Crydersville, which was established in 1990. We've come a long way in those 28 years, adding five more communities, nine small house neighborhoods, a community-based services organization, including a home health agency and two hospice teams, and finally just this year, a staffing agency. A lot has changed in 28 years. Okay, Shania, your turn. Was there something wrong with the previous mission statement? Why didn't they make the change and why now? Wrong? No, but as Kathleen stated, a lot has changed in 28 years. And most notably with the strategic plan updated every three to five years and relatively recent affiliations adding four new communities in the last six years alone. It seemed like a good time for a change. The old mission served us well, 
but clearly Otterbein is serving a wide array of new constituents. While we have several partners and residents that have been with us 28 years and longer, the vast majority of residents joined Otterbein in just the last decade or so. A full third of all Otterbein partners weren't even born when the old mission was placed into service. Honestly, we believe the new mission statement is more inclusive and shorter. Kathleen, introducing a new mission statement is complex. What was the process used to create and then approve the new mission statement? A strategic planning team, actually a subcommittee of the team assigned the task to develop the new strategic plan, was established and following several weeks of work, identified several options for a new mission statement. And once those options were developed, a survey plan was created designed to engage a wide variety of Otterbein constituents, including residents, elders, board members, partners, etc. And throughout the first few months of 2023, the survey was executed and ultimately over 1,200 people responded to the survey, including over 210 members of the corporate and local boards of directors, 400 partners, 340 community residents, and 270 neighborhood elders. Quite an extensive survey. Shania, help us understand the results of the survey. Well, there was nearly 65% of all those surveyed responded favorably to Inspired by Faith and over 75% responded favorably to the phrase enrich individual life journeys. So it became clear the ultimate mission statement needed to integrate both phrases. And as the result, the clear choice was inspired by faith, we strive to enrich individual life journeys for all. Jill mentioned during her introduction to this presentation that uh, she spends time looking at each word and each phrase and values each word and each phrase. Maybe between the two of you, spend just a couple of minutes dissecting the mission statement and telling us what each word means. Okay, I'll start with Inspired by Faith. Otterbein is a mission-based organization. Inspired by Faith, ultimately faith is self-determined by each of us. And to some extent, we are all inspired by faith whether it's a higher being, a concept, family, friends, or human nature. And then we strive. Absolute perfection is impossible to achieve, but one should always strive for optimal solutions and to continually strive to do the very best we can. Working to optimal success is critically important to the Otterbein mission. To enrich individual life journeys, every individual has a right to live a life of their choosing. Otterbein will work really hard to provide a choice of quality, high quality living, environments, and high quality care and services, all working together to enrich individual life journeys. For all, our mission is truly for all and in a spirit of inclusiveness, celebrating the similarities and differences among all of our constituents, residents, elders, partners, and their respective families volunteers, donors, board members, and the local communities in which we serve. For all is the reason Otterbein embarked on a journey of reimagining our decades old mission, a sincere and devoted one Otterbein effort to be more inclusive. Thank you both. I think we've handled a lot of the high level questions today. I hope you can tell we're a little excited about it. We think that this will serve Otterbein well, not only now, but on into a long future ahead of us. So uh, maybe we just end it with uh, saying it together. Inspired, Inspired by, by faith, faith, we strive, strive to, to enrich individual, individual life journeys for all. Thank you.